This is your guide to book publishing. Everything you want to know but didn't know what to ask with your host, Dr. Judith Bryles. On the show today, you'll find out where book publishing is going and how to take advantage of it. How to identify and avoid publishing predators. What opportunities are emerging as the book trade evolves in new forms. How to avoid losing money and much, much more. Join us now as a variety of publishing pros will deliver insights and strategies to take the author to the next, next level of publishing. It's your guide to book publishing. Everything you want to know but didn't know what to ask. Brought to you by Author You and The Book Shepherd. And now, here's your host, Dr. Judith Bryles. Well, it's another fabulous day. And here's what's happening at Author You. We are seven days away from an awesome event called the Author You Extravaganza. And what I've been featuring this last month um, and was uh, the month before is some of our main speakers, some of the people who are rock stars, who um, really know their stuff, who deliver every time I've had them on the show. They're repeat guests. And they have been to the extravaganza before, at least Daniel Hall has, who is with me today. And they always, what I love about them is they have what I believe is one of the key factors of success as an author and as a business person, and that is that they have the gift of curiosity. They are always out searching, searching and looking for new ideas, ways to expand their businesses, and, and Daniel is, if anyone does it, he is the poster child for it. And looking at how you can really be successful as an author, just with, you know, if, you, if you're just starting down the road, or if you've been limping along, or if you really are doing extraordinarily well, here are some other things you can do without going into overload, or have you just thought about tweaking this and taking it another way? So one of the things that Daniel is going to be talking about is the uh, whole area at the uh, audio. And he, uh, months ago, we did a program on the billion-dollar business that a lot of authors just don't get and grasp. So Daniel's going to be talking about audiobooks, and so we're going to get into that. But let's welcome him. Daniel is a best-selling author himself. He's a speaker. He's a publisher. He's a nurse. So if we get sick, he can take care of us or at least he can remember some of the things you needed to do. He's an attorney by trade, um, but doesn't practice it, which puts him in my high loving category because, <laughs> oh well, we won't go about attorneys. And he's also a sometimes blogger. And as if you listen to, uh, when you uh, listen to next week's show, which we will be doing from the extravaganza, we are going to be talking about some of the unbelievable things you can do in blogging. And we've had Joan Stewart on several times talking about some of the insider trips and tips for that. Daniel is the creator of a highly popular Real Fast brand of training products. He left the practice of law over eight years ago to build his publishing business, and he has never looked back, never had an ounce of regret. He's a true serial entrepreneur, and his list of URLs are probably longer than your arm and leg put together. So you can find out everything you need to know about Daniel at DanielHallPresents.com. And with that, let's bring him on, and let's just jump into that. And Daniel, we do want to talk about some of the things you do about the Speak on Cruise Ships program as well. So hi, welcome back to Author You, Your Guide to Book Publishing. Well, thank you so much for having me, Judith. I really, really appreciate it, as always. Uh, you know that I love well, I love you, so I love working with you. So it's always an honor and a privilege. Well, there we go. Okay, so let's just jump into this. Um, and I know that you've got some new things that you're all excited about in, in some of the new products you've developed. But let's get into just the whole area of audiobooks because you are going to do a deep dive general session on that, the who, what, where, when, and why. Why are they so hot and why right now? All right, so really, really quickly, I just want folks to completely understand why audio is, is, is such a, a hot thing. Um, and the, the first realization I want everyone to, to grasp is the fact that audio, out of all the media out there, audio is the only media that you can consume while engaged in some other activity. That is super important. We're all very, very busy. We all want to multitask. We want to all effectively
probably wants multitask. And audio is the you know one of the only ways that we or the, you know the, that your customers can actually consume your material, consume your book while they're walking their dog, while they're at the beach, while they are you know at the gym on the treadmill or cleaning the house or working. You know, so that is a huge, huge thing I want folks to understand. And one of the one of the big, big reasons why every author, and I'm talking about every author without exception, should really consider putting their material into audio uh, into audio book. So that's the first, the, the very, the very first thing. So I, so my tip is going to be one of my tweets will be is what does what does your book and walking the dog have in common? <laughs> A lot. <laughs> okay. There you go. Exactly. All right. now, the, now, here's the other thing that um, is, is really, really crucial to, the, to this understanding. Um, and uh, this didn't really come home to me until I, I actually had an experience. Now, um, as you know, Judith, I speak at events all over the world. And I was, I was at this event, and I believe it was in Atlanta. And um, at the event, there was a fellow speaker there, a friend of mine, and we have a common interest, unrelated to the conference that we were actually speaking at. And we were talking, her and I, about this, about this uh, related um, sort of subject matter. And based on how the conversation was going, I got really excited about a book recommendation that I wanted to, to make to her. And, uh, and I did. And, and she immediately, we were all out to dinner after one of these conferences, and, and she immediately turned to her boyfriend uh, and said, could you please go and buy this book, the book that I had recommended to her. So he dutifully picks up her iPhone, he goes to Amazon, and buys the audiobook version of that book. And, and um, I, I'm sitting there basically across the table from them, and I, I'm in amazement. And the reason why I am is because I didn't tell them to buy the audio book, so I naturally asked. And I said, you know, why is it that, you know, you bought the audio book when I essentially said just go buy the book? And her response to me is very funny. I hope will inform everyone listening to my words right now. Because her response was this. She said, I always buy the audiobook version first because I know it is the only format that I will consume. Okay? Mm -hmm. And when she said that, a huge light bulb went off in my head. And I realized at that point that I do the very same thing. Okay? If, if the audiobook version is available, I will buy that one first because I can just listen in, you know, my car or wherever. And, and then the next realization hit me, um, also very telling, and that was that until very, very recently, and I'm talking about within the last two years, um, you could not affordably produce your book unless you were with a legacy publisher, you know, a big trade publisher, New York publisher, you could not uh, affordably produce your audio book and get it into the major marketplaces that sell audio books, which, by the way, if you're taking notes on this, it's Audible, iTunes, and Amazon. Those are the, those are the big three, okay? And, in fact, the, the ratios, the, the, the general ratios of, of published physical books, or even for that matter, Kindle books these days, to audio books is about 100,000 to 5,000. In other words, for about every 100,000 books that are, uh, are written and published, only about 5,000 of them actually see the light of day as an audio book. That's why when she said, I always buy the audio book first if it is available, it really made so much sense, and it should inform everyone listening of the huge, huge demand for audiobooks because of that. Because people are looking for audiobooks. They want your audiobooks. They would really rather listen to an audiobook. Uh, some of them, a huge, 
In fact, it's a, it turned into a billion dollar a year industry, just audiobooks. And if your stuff is not available as an audiobook, well, guess what? You have potentially lost that, that person. And it is incumbent upon us, you, Judith, as an author, me as an author, the people that we help. It is, it is our job, essentially, to make our material, to make our content as easily consumable as is possible. And what I tell my authors is you want to, have, you want to create a mental image in your mind as you write, as you speak, okay, of, of a baby. And you are the, you're the mama or the papa, basically spoon-feeding your content to your end buyer. And the reason for that is, so that we're all very clear on this, is that if your prospects, if your buyers, okay, are not actually using your content, consuming your content, benefiting from your content, they will not come back to you or they will not come back to you very long, okay? So you want to build a raving uh, a, a base, a platform of raving fans who not only buy this book and consume it and get the good out of it, get the benefit out of your wisdom, okay, but buy the next one and the one after that and the one after that and the one after that and the one after that. And the way that that is done is by making your stuff as, as easily consumable as is possible. And when you look at the the consumability of audiobooks, well, it's off the chart. Again, going back to my first point, that the audiobook is one of the easiest things for people to, to consume while engaged in some other activity. And I said, that, that's huge, Judith. It, that, that is huge. And they, I, I, I think that uh, a lot of authors just don't grasp it. I have to tell you, I, we've got 30 seconds for our first break here, Daniel, but I have to tell you that I just did the audio for my little, which I didn't even think about doing, but I did it for my new book that's just coming out, Snappy Sassy Salty, which is all my quotations, where I go through all the quotations. And what an audio also allows, and, and what I, when we come back, let's talk about, uh, which we're going to do right here, let's talk about, do you do it yourself or have a professional come in and do the audio? You're listening to Author You, your guide to book publishing. Daniel Hall's my guest. I'm Judith Bryles. Audio. If you're not doing it, you're missing out. This is your guide to book publishing. Everything you want to know but didn't know what to ask. With your host, Dr. Judith Bryles. And we'll be right back with more great information right after these on the Rockstar Radio Network. Is there a book in you or another? Author You will show you how to create develop and publish your book without being good with it. If you already have a book out, you'll find a supportive and brainstorming community that's connected and creative no matter where you live. Author U brings in national experts for its book camps and annual author extravaganza held each May. It has regular meetings and delivers webinars for its members on timely topics. Through Author U's extensive network, members enjoy exclusive benefits, including significant discounts for a variety of services necessary to publish. The Resource, its online book publishing news magazine, is content heavy and it's free. If you want to create a book that has pizzazz, punch, and panache, Author U is for you. If you're a hobbyist or a casual author, it's not. Join Author U today through its website at authoru.org. Follow Author U on Twitter at Author U and on Facebook at Author U, where timely author and publishing tips and articles are posted daily. Author U, where the author goes to become seriously successful. sell stuff? Do you want to sell books? Lots of them? If yes, you must take credit cards, the most widely used form of payment today. The Free Terminal has created a special program for your guide to book publishing listeners. No contract. All equipment is free. Extremely low rates and no termination fees ever. Contact Alan Dean at Alan at thefreeterminal.com or call him at 303-668-6828. 
The free terminal has handled all credit card transactions for both Author U and Judith for over a year. Don't wait another day. Contact Alan at thefreeterminal.com or call 303-668-6828 and tell him you want the no contract Author U deal. Every picture tells a story. And it's a truism that people do judge a book by its cover. Nick Selinger and NZ Graphics have been in the business of producing superior graphic cover design and interior layout for self-published authors, independent and traditional publishers for years. He has developed a reputation for... Excellent work, fast turnarounds, and best of all, affordable pricing. NZ Graphics also produces ebooks and book marketing materials such as posters, sell sheets, postcards, bookmarks, business cards, logos, and more. Books designed for his clients have won multiple book awards, including Best Book Award by U.S. Book News, multiple Evie Awards from the Colorado Independent Publishers Association, Indie Book Awards, the San Francisco Book Festival Award, and Freedom Medal Award from Valley Forge. Visit www.nzgraphics.com or call 303-985-4174 for more details about making your book the success it should be. Mention that you are an FOJ, friend of Judith's, and that you heard about NZ Graphics on your guide to book publishing. Welcome back to your guide to book publishing. Everything you want to know but didn't know what to ask. If you want to write and publish a book, if you want to be successful as an author... Your guide to book publishing, everything you want to know but didn't know what to ask, is for you. Stay tuned and you'll hear about statistics, scenarios, and strategies on what to do now to get you published. So let's get back to the show. And here again is your host, Dr. Judith Bryles. With me is Daniel Hall, and we're talking about why, 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 why you have to have audiobooks. And I never thought about as the it's the ultimate in multitasking for anyone who is doing other things from walking the dog, doing the dishes to just uh, even you, you could be um, just listening to music but you could uh, or, or you could be watching something and you could listening if you do like me I am a multitasker I do a variety of things but just viewing something and maybe you want to space out and you want to hear something that might take you to another level you can do that but it's it's very important for exercise audiobooks are perfect if you look at people who are exercising whether it's running whether they're weightlifting whether they're doing the blank whether they're in a formal setting they're often plugged in why not be listening to your books isn't that right daniel that is exactly right if they're going to be so, listening to something it should be your stuff exactly and if you don't make it available um, then they will go find somebody else who does, or you have to introduce it. Now, one of the things that you're going to be talking about at the extravaganza is how to do it for free, which is always attractive to authors, the free factor. So let's talk about that a little bit. How do you okay. determine? Let, let's, let's, let's go down the road. Number one, do you do it in your own voice? Because some people have voices that are just fine. And um, as, as I just said, I uh, wasn't really thinking about doing my book. Of, my new book is actually 250 plus of the quotations that I've created over a little bit of time that deal with writing and authoring. And I really hadn't thought about doing an audio. And someone said, you know what, you really should do an audio. And we were able to. I, I did it in about an hour and a half and put it through and had it edited and all that came together. So, I, you know, we're ready to go. And we're actually going to be doing in the, uh, I will tell you, in the ebook version, we are going to now take some of those little audio clips and we're going to let those jump off a couple of the pages in the ebook version. Um, so my voice will carry into there and just add a little bit more uh, whipped cream to the whole package, I guess. But there's just different things that we can do. Um, and I actually had someone help me do it, so when people help me, I pay them a little bit to, to do that. But if I was doing it all myself, Daniel, what would I need to know? What equipment do I need to do? 
how do I go about it? And if I chose someone to do it for me, what kind of fees am I looking at besides do I hire professional talent or not? Okay. So there, there are a bunch of questions rolled up into one there. I, um, I know. I know. I thought I'd just throw them all out at once. Yeah. So let, let, let's, let's see if we can unpack that and, and, and take folks through it so that they, 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 they understand. So the, okay. the fact of the matter is that you can, you absolutely can now actually do your audiobook essentially for free, okay? Um, it, well, I mean, nothing in life is free, and I do mean nothing in life is free. Um, but, but I'm talking about um, you, can, you can essentially do all, of the, all that needs to be done with your own time, Okay, which, by the way, is worth money, right? So it's either you use your own time to do it or you get some help to do it. And the really cool thing is that you can um, absolutely get other people's help by doing a royalty split with them and, mm-hmm. and um, not have to pay anything up front. Let's go to your very first question as to whether or not you should, as an author, narrate in your own voice and produce and, and, and publish the audiobook in your own voice. Well, the, the answer to that is, is really twofold. Number one, do you have the time to do it? Do you have the time to devote to it? Because it will take the time to, uh, to sit and actually read to narrate your manuscript, okay? And um, by the way, should you decide to do that, let me give you a few little pointers on that. Uh, I myself teach and, and also use a free recording software called Audacity. Audacity. Uh, and if you go to Google and type in Audacity download, you'll see that's the program. And it's, and it's a very, very uh, good, robust, um, and also free uh, recording software that works on both Mac and PC. Uh, so that's what I would use to, to actually do the recording. Now, the other thing I want folks to really, really understand is a, is a crucial point that if you are going to do it yourself, that you should not, I'll repeat that, should not try to use your inbuilt microphone in, in your computer. Okay, it, it will not do a good enough job because folks buying audiobooks are actually buying audio, okay? You want the, the audio sound really, really crisp, clear, clean, okay? And you're not going to achieve those results with your inbuilt, uh, your inbuilt uh, microphone into your, into your computer. So uh, my suggestions, my recommendations are that you get a large diaphragm, studio-grade microphone, and there are two that I recommend. The one is called the AC2020, about $125 on Amazon, um, and or the Blue Yeti, which is about $89 um, on, on Amazon. Those are really, really great mics, and if you're doing audio over, you know, over, you know, I use one of those two mics every day every 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 single day i'm using those um one of those two mics so to me it's, it's a it's a huge um uh, benefit to have really good quality audio all the time now um so let's just say that you have decided you're going to do that or you're thinking about doing that the, the next thing you need to look at assuming that you have you know the equipment now and you have the time to actually do it the next thing you need to look at is what is I mean, how do you feel about your own voice, okay? Do you mm-hmm. have a, a good voice for, for audio? And when I mean good, um, I, I, don't, I don't mean from the standpoint of, you know, having to have a radio producer or radio show voice, okay? Because you don't, you don't need that. But what I am saying is if you have, you know, sort of a, a tiny, uh, maybe a squeaky voice, you may not want to do that. This is, of course, your decision. But even if you do have uh, maybe some uh, a, a voice that isn't quite radio 
DJ quality, um, the, there is much to be said about the, your ability to actually tell the story, to express the words in your manuscript like no narrator possibly could, because you know the exact meaning behind every word, every phrase, every sentence. Okay, and you can spin it in, in just precisely the way you wish. Whereas, if if you have if you're given your your manuscript to a, a narrator, well, they may hit the mark, and then they may not. Okay, you don't, you you just you just don't know. All right, so those are those are considerations. Now, here's the other thing that you need to to also think about if you are going to use a professional narrator um, and you decide you're going to just hire them outright. In other words, you're, you're not really interested in doing a, uh, a royalty or revenue split with them. Um, then there are some really, really good narrators um, that are actually on um, they're actually on the, uh, the, the Fiverr, it's called Fiverr, F-I-V-E-R-R.com. Um, and, and there are, you know, you could probably have most, it depends on, of course, the length of the book, et cetera. But you could probably hire somebody on Fiverr to do your book for a couple hundred dollars. And then you own the, uh, the, the reporting. In other words, you don't have to pay them again, et cetera. Okay, but now, here's the thing. Here's the thing about about that particular track. You will get, you'll get you're going to get the reporting back, and um, you're going to ha- you're going to have to be with uh, be responsible for actually editing it. And one other thing I want to say about <clears throat> about if you do use a narrator, a professional narrator or somebody on Fiverr or whatever, um, go through your manuscript. It's a very important point. Go through your manuscript. And if there is a, uh, or where there are words that are perhaps terms of art or words specific to your industry. Or okay, dark, Daniel, Daniel, yeah. hold that thought because we have to take another break right here. So we're okay. going to come back to narration and bringing that on board. You're listening to Author You, your guide to book publishing. Daniel is deep into how to work with narrators if you bring them on board. We'll be right back. This is your guide to book publishing. Everything you want to know but didn't know what to ask. With your host, Dr. Judith Bryles. And we'll be right back with more great information right after these on the Rockstar Radio Network. Since 1987, Color House Graphics has set the standard for quality book production. Whether you decide to print a small quantity of books or need a large print run, depend on Color House to help you. You'll receive professional help and advice the moment you reach one of our representatives. If you mention hearing about us on your guide to book publishing with Judith Bryles, we will provide you a discount on the first order you place. To speak with a project manager, call us toll-free at 800-454-1916 or visit us at www.colorhousegraphics.com. When Ned Thompson and Harry Shore started Thompson Shore in 1972, they believed employees with great character would make up the best company. They were right. They hired people who were not only experts in bookmaking, but who were obsessed with quality and delivering exceptional customer service. Almost 40 years later, Thompson Shore remains a 100% employee-owned company. Ned and Harry knew that successful customer projects are a direct result of empowered employees. We specialize in all books for large and small publishers. Creating beautiful and well-made books, we're dedicated to pleasing our customers by making the experience a good one from start to finish. The personal touch we have with our customers allows us to be innovative in solving their most difficult challenges. Our platform also ensures that we can remain flexible to meet our customers' unique needs and expectations. Our marketing kit can create buzz for your title, enhancing the promotion of your book during infancy. 
When you need to test the market to gauge your future sales, we can provide digitally printed books that will transition seamlessly into a larger offset run. From ebook to hard copy to delivery, our skillful customer service teams are at the ready to answer your most pressing questions. At Thompson Shore, we know that making the highest quality books requires more than just best technologies. It requires superior customer service, professionalism to the trade, and commitment to environmental and social values. With these standards of excellence in place, you can be sure that we will always help you put your best book forward. Welcome back to your guide to book publishing. Everything you want to know but didn't know what to ask. Coming up, you'll hear more about statistics, scenarios, and strategies on what to do now to get you published. So let's get back to the show. And here again is your host, Dr. Judith Bryles. Hi, we are one week to the extravaganza. Daniel Hall is my guest this afternoon, and he will be talking about audio books, how to do it yourself, free, and uh, we're going through some of those points today. I do want to bring up that Daniel and I did a very fun uh, Google Hangout Air, and you can catch it on YouTube, and Daniel made an awesome off uh, offer uh, on that, and I'm going to encourage all of you go to YouTube, search it with Daniel Hall and my name, put extravaganza in there and watch it and take advantage of it. There is one slot, at least as of right now, for the Shark Tank. And it's all about the Shark Tank. Shark Tank, allow, author Shark Tank, allows you to get in. We have uh, roughly five, five, six sharks. Daniel's one of them. I'm one of them. Uh, CEO Mark Coker is one of them. Penny Sansaveri is one of them. Joan Stewart is one of them. And one of the things that, what many things that we can do if we love what you're doing, if you know how to pitch us, you might find an amazing array of goodies coming at you to help you in your journey. We're not investing in your book. We're not uh, throwing money at you. What we're doing is throwing our expertise, our services, maybe some products that you can use that you wouldn't have to pay for. People who go into the Shark Tank, and it's not free, you have to pay to go into it, but people who go into Shark Tank can walk away with thousands of dollars of unbelievable goodies. So, Daniel, isn't that right? Oh, yeah, man. That is, that is probably one of the best investments you can make if you're an author is to, is to step up and, uh, and pitch us in the, the Shark Tank. And the really cool thing is, at least my my thing is it's not just all those goodies that you've mentioned, but also uh, potential access to my uh, sphere of influence, the, the, the people yes. that, that I know uh, that, that I connect you with uh, if, you know, if that, that, if that makes sense, right? So, yes, uh, uh, I would absolutely encourage you to, to, to do that. If you're thinking absolutely. about it, do it. A absolutely. So one spot's left to go. All the information is on authoru.org forward slash extravaganza. There are 10 slots left. We would love to see here, you here in fabulous Denver, Colorado. If you want to be seriously successful, the extravaganza is where you go. Um, it's an info fest. And here's what's different about Author U. We feed not only your brain, we feed your belly. You get breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So with that, we're talking about um, mics, we're talking about narrative, and the two mics that Daniel highly recommended is the AP2020, uh, which you can get on Amazon for about 120, or the Blue Yeti, Y-E-T-I, which is around 89. Both excellent, both available on Amazon. Um, and you can take it uh, from there. We're talking about narrators, and he was mentioning there are a lot of narrators that freelance, professional narrators that freelance and hang out. You can find them on Fiverr, F I V R R dot com, and get them for a few hundred bucks. And Daniel was just talking about some royalty sharing and things like that. So, Daniel, back to you. All right. So, the, the one thing that I think I was, uh, I, I left off at, okay, and, and, and that is working with any narrator. So, asterisk this in your notes. Any narrator, go through your manuscript in any terms of uh, art, any any jargon, anything that somebody might miss 
speak or, or pronounce in the way that you want to pronounce, go through and actually do a recording yourself, a little, little MP3 recording, that uh, where, you, where you give your narrators the pronunciation that you want for each of those words. Okay, really, really important. Otherwise, lots of back and forth with, you know, please re-record this, uh, you know, sort of thing. Okay, so um, that's, that's really a very, very uh, important uh, point on, on the narration. Because I've, I've done, I've done audio books, I've gotten them back, and, you know, the narrator would, uh, would, would use, use the word, and I'm like, why did you say it that way? That's a pretty common term. Well, it, as it turns out, it really wasn't uh, all that common of a term. Um, the word happened to be Fallujah, right, in, in, in Iraq. Well, Fallujah was pronounced in some, you know, weird, wacky way by this, this particular narrator I'm thinking of, and I'm like, okay. So I learned from that experience, just take all those words that, 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 might, that, that might be mispronounced and, again, record them yourself narrate them the, themselves with the correct pronunciation so your narrator knows before they start the project. All right, so that's critical to know. So all those, so things that you have to do your pre-work before you reach out. So it's like going out for a bid. So yeah, well. you need, yeah, all right, so you have to have the what key questions. So the thing is you need to know the key questions in interviewing a narrator before you engage him or her. Daniel, so, what about what about yeah, there, uh, for, there was, for uh, sorry, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. Go ahead. Go, go. No, I was going to say, what about for our fiction authors who have different voices? Um, do they need, uh, you know, do they keep a, a male voice totally, even though they have female voices going on back and forth? Do you try to interject them? How, how does one handle that? You, you could handle it either either way. You could actually get two narrators. You can get a a narrator to do the female part and the uh, um, and the uh, and the male part as well. If you're going to do any of that sort of thing, where it's it's, it's like that, um, you probably want to use a professional narrator and have the thing uh, uh, done through the audiobook creation exchange or acx.com because ultimately okay. all of these. Um, all of these books are, at least if you're following me and following my recommendations, are going to be published through and using ACX or Audiobook Creation Exchange. And let me give you a bit of, of, of background on um, ACX so that you completely understand what the deal is, right? Uh, the really, the, the 800 pound gorilla in audiobook is audible.com. Okay, audible.com. And when I first looked at doing audiobooks, uh, I, I figured out audible.com was, you know, where I wanted to be. And I reached out to them and, 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 and tried to actually do a deal with, with, uh, with audible.com. Well, you know, I run a seven figure business and, and yet no one at audible.com would call me back. No one would email me. No one would return emails from Audible. And I'm like, well, what the hey, man? It was just really, really difficult. And when I did figure it out, they, uh, they, they basically sent me to a, um, a, an aggregator who uh, essentially did all of the production work for you, but charged you between $2,000 to $3,000 per book, okay, to actually do your book and get it up onto um, Audible. And the reason, by the way, the reason why you want to go through Audible is because if you get onto Audible, you also get onto Amazon and iTunes. Okay? So it casts a much wider net. Well, what happened was that, um, first off, you should know Audible is actually a subsidiary of Amazon.com. Amazon bought Audible, uh, which also should tell you something, by the way. Uh, but then... Audible.com launched ACS.com, the Audiobook Creation Exchange. And there, at, at, at that site, um, you can easily publish your audiobook. And here is the really cool thing. Um, they, because it is, it, it is a, a creation exchange, you could actually go, uh, they have um, 
um, narrators, professional narrators on there that are looking for you, essentially. They're looking for audiobook rights holders um, who they can uh, do a, a revenue split with so that you pay zero upfront cost using the service, and they produce the entire thing. Okay, they, they, they narrate it, they edit it, they give you um, the, the, the final version, which, of course, you do have to listen to and, and to make sure that it's up to your spec. And if not, you know, the, you, you tell them. But there's a, there is a way to communicate back and forth between your narrator um, and yourself right through a skip. So for me, uh, I'm a busy guy, and I personally don't have time to, uh, to sit and narrate all of my books. Uh, I did the first few, but, but then uh, I started using the, the folks, the narrators at Audiobook Creation Exchange, um, and, and I would send out bids for, uh, for auditions. People would actually audition, you can, and then you can, by the way, through the audition process, you could upload the part of your manuscript that you want read, and they'll send you back a audiobook uh, or a, an audio version of that script, and then you decide, hey, yeah, I like the, I like the sound of uh, this lady's voice or wh whatever it happens to be, uh, and that's really, really a very cool thing as well, and it frees you up, okay? From actually having to do it now, yes, you do have to, uh, you do have to split revenues um, with them. But I want you to understand this as well: that not only do authors have platforms, but narrators have platforms. And mm. what do, yeah, what do I mean by that? I mean mm. that there are people that will buy the book based on the narrator, not necessarily the author. Okay. Wow. So they have their own following. Um, they have their own and, following. And, so, and do they do they actually, Daniel, we have about 30 seconds before we need to go to our final break, but do, do they, let me ask you this. So these narrators have their own sphere of influence where they will do shout outs saying, hey, 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 I just did this amazing a book about blah, 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 blah. You need to get it. Is that correct? Exactly. And Woo! of course. That's hot. That's hot. All right. Oh, it's very hot because when you realize that essentially okay, they hold, are now partnered hold, with you. All right, hold that, hold that, because we have uh, one more section, and we'll be back, and we'll be getting into hot partnerships <laughs> here for your audiobook. This is great, great information. I hope you all are listening in. This is Judith Riles. Daniel Hall is my guest. We are in to Audio Land. <laughs> This is your guide to book publishing. Everything you want to know but didn't know what to ask. With your host, Dr. Judith Bryles. And we'll be right back with more great information right after these on the Rockstar Radio Network. Do you sell stuff? Do you want to sell books? Lots of them? If yes, you must take credit cards, the most widely used form of payment today. The Free Terminal has created a special program for your guide to book publishing listeners. No contract, all equipment is free. Extremely low rates and no termination fees ever. Contact Alan Dean at Alan at thefreeterminal.com or call him at 303-668-6828. The Free Terminal has handled all credit card transactions for both Author You and Judith for over a year. Don't wait another day. Contact Alan at thefreeterminal.com or call 303-668-6828 and tell him you want the no contract author you deal. The book shepherding concept is simple. The publishing world is changing and so must you. You need an experienced shepherd and a guide to partner with you as you create, strategize, develop, publish, and achieve your publishing goals. You can't do it alone without paying the price. You can spend your money creating a book that turns out to be so-so, or you can create a book that looks and feels classy, builds your brand, and is a financial success, a bestseller. It's your choice. You choose. You need the book shepherd. Publishing is riddled with obstacles, sometimes nightmares for the author. You don't need problems. You want solutions. 
Dr. Judith Bryles will shepherd you through the maze and the chaos. At times, she's had to step in and rescue a book, a book that has been sabotaged by a publisher or by a publishing service provider or sometimes even the author themselves. Judith Bryles is the book shepherd. If you want to create a book with no regrets, give her a call today, 303-885-2207. That's 303-885-2207 or email her at judith at bryles.com. By the way, Bryles is spelled B-R-I-L-E-S. Follow Judith on Twitter at My Book Shepherd and on Facebook at The Book Shepherd. At Total Printing Systems, customer service is our priority. We are located in Southern Illinois. Our employees have an average of 18 years' experience and know that customer relationships are important to our continued success. We have been a short-run book printer for nearly 40 years and always stay at the forefront of technology. Our niche is from 1 to 5,000 copies. Today, we offer digital black and white and four-color high-speed inkjet printing, a cost-effective way to introduce color into your short-run titles. We, of course, offer traditional offset printing as well. Bindery is done in-house, from adhesive case binding to PUR perfect binding to mechanical binding of all types, including side sewing. We provide warehousing, kitting, distribution, inventory management, a new print-on-demand facility, streaming browser-based ebooks, and bookstore. Call us at 1-800-465-5200 for a quote on your next book project. You can also visit our website at www.tps1.com. Welcome back to your guide to book publishing. Everything you want to know but didn't know what to ask. If you want to write and publish a book. If you want to be successful as an author, your guide to book publishing, everything you want to know but didn't know what to ask, is for you. Stay tuned and you'll hear about statistics, scenarios, and strategies on what to do now to get you published. So let's get back to the show. And here again is your host, Dr. Judith Bryles. Man, sometimes these hours go so fast. And uh, Daniel, if you've been paying attention, number one, I think you're going to have to go back and re-listen to this whole podcast in the podcast form. And you can certainly go to iTunes and download it um, after this evening um, and and download it and re-listen to it over and over again. You can go to the authoryou.org site and click on our on the air icon and it'll be pop right there. Because it's, it's just got so much information. I know I'm going to be listening to it again. All right, Daniel, we were talking about the narrators and the yep. split. I, I love the idea of the audition, of auditioning them. And actually, I hadn't thought about, you know, I'm slammed. I have, I've, you know, I work an 80 hour week. I'm slammed all the time. And the idea of actually having someone else, this is where you let your ego go, get someone else to come in and do some of your books and turn them loose and they will actually go out and cross promote too i think that's extraordinarily hot absolutely well considering the the fact that it it is a it's a 50 50 revenue share of the of the royalties essentially you're you're bringing in a professional partner uh for that for that book and if you choose wisely not just the quality of the voice but also the quality of their of their social circles right uh, of their of their own influence um you can do you know that much better because they stand to benefit when your book sells as well right on a 50 50 basis that's Thanks. hot that is that is really really a, a very cool thing oh i think it's fabulous and i'm i'm thinking of actually several of my books i'm gonna turn them loose yeah, I mean, so it's just, it's just like you said, Judith, there's only so many hours in the day. You work an 80-hour week. I work at least an 80-hour week. And, mm-hmm. uh, and not, by the way, when I say work, I want to make sure I actually love what I do. So mine is more play, but it's working, right? I, it's not, I'm not mm-hmm. on the beat. Um, but, but the thing is, is that it, 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 would, it would be, and I've got so much content out there, it would be difficult for me to go back to a project that, that I, you know, may have done five years ago to actually re-record today, when in fact that's what I should do. But with this this type of uh, system, and now that you know it exists, you can actually pull down something you may have done ten years ago that's still up on Amazon, and 
turn it loose, let it let it go out into the world that way as well, and and essentially do it with, without any upfront cost at all. It is glorious. All right, so Daniel, let me ask you this: You've got so we found the narrator. We've got a partner, or you've decided to do it yourself. When you work with the narrator, they come in and do the editing, or, or how do we do the editing part, or, or what do we do here? Help me out. Well, we need, if, yeah. obviously, if, if, you're, if you've hired a narrator, particularly if you've used um, HDX to do that, uh, it is, it's going to be the narrator's responsibility to get you the finished, completely edited um, recording, right? That, 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 that would be their job. Uh, and, and so that's, that's how you handle that if you're going to go that direction. If it is you, on the other hand, that um, are going to do the, you know, your own narration, then, yes, it's your responsibility to, to do that. And let me give you, let me give folks a few tips on when you narrate your book, how to best go about it, okay, to make that editing much, much faster, right, get it done faster. Uh, because that's, that's essentially what I'm, what I'm all about uh, at realfastaudiobook.com is I teach folks how to get their books out quickly. And what you're going to do, because you will invariably, as you narrate your audio, you will invariably make mistakes, you, are, you will misspeak, etc. What I suggest you do is, number one, read only the, uh, only the words on the page. Don't add lib. Okay? That's going to help you a great deal, number one. Number two, put in a chapter at a time and use a, a teleprompter software. There's a free one at qprompter.com. That's C-U-E, then prompter.com. And I, that's what I use to, narr to narrate my book. And then um, what, what you will do is essentially walk through that, you know, Speaking your book, and, and when when you misspeak, what you're going to do is you're going to clap three times into your microphone. But then you're going to pick up from where you uh, from, from where you left off, and from where wherever you made that mistake. So as soon as you realize you've made a mistake in your narration, you're going to stop. You're going to clap three times, and then you're going to pick back up without stopping the reporter, okay? So you're recording one chapter at a time, one chapter at a time, because that's what HDX is going to require. One chapter equals one audio file. And um, and, and then once you have that, what, what that clapping does, so folks can uh, completely understand why I'm saying that, is that maybe 20 or 30 minutes have gone by of you narrating a chapter, and you forgot, you know, where you've made you know, made the mistake, so you can easily see on the on the uh, on the audio signal on in Audacity or any other program for that matter. Uh, the the three mark, essentially, that's what you're doing. You're marking your audio so that you know what to go back to, and then you're just highlight uh, those marks and then forward, and and then you you determine what needs to be cut out. And the one thing that I learned from a, a audio book. Um, or excuse me, a audio engineer was that you know when you're doing audio, you cut out what is bad and what you have left is good. It's just as simple as that. It's like it's like the bad stuff never happened, it never it never occurred, uh, and that is uh, a, a a very very quick primer on, on doing audio editing. But you, but, but the the real key again is to not stop the recorder. Just just do the whole thing. And clap three times where when you know you've made a mistake, and then go back and edit out. And usually you get get it edited uh, very very quickly that way. And and it just brings it in. Wow, there's just so much information. All right, Daniel, we have about three minutes here <laughs> to, to wrap up here. Um, I, I get if you didn't hear what he said about the prompter, prompters do help. There's a freebie one, and it's cueqprompter.com. So go get it and get it downloaded for you. Well, actually, so. it's, it's a web-based application, so you don't even need to download it. Just oh, go well, there you go. Just use mm -hmm. it, all right? All right. And, and, it. It, and then how do you upload into it then? 
Can you tell us about that? Well, you're well. You're not well. well first off, two prompter is, is is just just going to essentially scroll your manuscript. Okay. Right. Uh -huh. So you're reading you're reading from that, but you're reporting into Audacity. So once once you have it reported into Audacity, you're going to export the, your files, uh, your your edited files as MP3s and upload them to ACX. Uh, you know, essentially chapter by chapter by chapter until you've got your whole book built out. That, and that's that's how it works. I mean, there's uh, you know, obviously, quite a bit more detail uh, to it uh, than than that, and that's one of the reasons why I, I really, really hope folks will will, will uh, attend my presentation, where we're going to do a a, a a you know in depth how to actually putting your audiobook together uh, at, at my uh, extravaganza. Session. So I can hardly wait. I mean, I really, I am going to be there with Phil's on. Actually, I, I have to tell everyone, Ward Lucas has agreed to MC us um, our event this year. Ward is the one of the former Emmy-winning anchors um, with NBC's affiliate here, KOSA, and he will be um, relieving me of some of my duties so I can actually listen to something. So I'm very excited that you know, <laughs> I'm very well, excited that I get to attend something this year. <laughs> All right, so one minute to go. What are some last-minute tips we want to leave with everyone besides get to the extravaganza? If you can't, I will tell you we are uh, videoing everything. We will have it on DVD. We will have it on audio as well. You can choose which way to go, just audio or the visual. I'm huge for visual. Daniel's not boring to watch. Um, and you can pick that up. That will be on the authoru.org website. Post the event. And and that's being professionally done. Uh, and then Daniel also, Daniel Hall presents. He does have a variety of programs that you can tap into. So Daniel, in about thirty seconds, how about wrapping something up here? Okay. Number one, do your book as an audio book. Okay. I I get the question all the time, Judith. Well, should I put my books out as a physical book, as a Kindle book? Should I put them up on the iBookstore? Should I? Should I should I yeah. go to Nook? Should I do should I do this? Should I do that? Should I get them? And my my, my answer to all that question is always: you put your book in as many different marketplaces and as in many and as in, as it, as in many different formats as you can. Okay, okay, so that's that's one. I've got seven seconds. So can you? <laughs> I think we're going to have to close here. So one, get your book out in audio. That's it. Go to Daniel Hall Presents, get everything you can, come to the extravaganza, and play with us. And that's it. <laughs> Thank you, Daniel. Thank you. Okay. <laughs>Thank you for being a part of your guide to book publishing. Everything you want to know but didn't know what to ask. With your host, Dr. Judith Bryle.